bad. So this is a video. about the Hyperloop. So a lot of people have been asking, I say a lot of people, I think it's about 10, 12, 15. Usually what happens is, is um, oh, what's his face? Thunderfoot comes out with a video about the Hyperloop and then I get a, a, a one or two comments and then he'll release a video and then I get another one or two comments and this, that, that. It'll be, have you seen the latest Hyperloop? What's your take on it? I said, I'll get round to it. This, that and the other. And uh, this is what, so this has been on the list for quite a while and I thought, yeah, yeah. So what is the problem with the Hyperloop? Is Thunderfoot talking shit? There's another guy who does anti Thunderfoot videos where he goes around, that guy's fucking voice. He does my nothing. Oh, the guy who takes the, you know, the guy who does the negative and he comes out with the actual, the internal pressure is, oh, fuck's sake. Right, so it's gonna be a long video um, from an engineering point of view. The Hyperloop. Thunderfoot's already been through all this, it's not a new idea, like most ideas, they are generally not new. A lot, a lot of ideas, apart from the computer edge, but a lot of mechanical ideas are all old ideas. It is quite easy to have an idea, it is very hard to implement it, and that is the whole. Um, theme of this video. It is, or it's all good to have an idea. It's implementing that idea now. Elon Musk is a knobhead, in my opinion. He's just one of these arrogant little, yeah, uh, just. But yeah. So, Burn Victim has had this idea. He wanted to go in space. So what he's done is, is he's gone round with his lots and lots and lots and lots of money. You know, very well done to him. And he has basically uh, employed the right people. Anyone can do this. That Koenigsegg fella, that Christian Koenigsegg, he's done exactly the same thing. You know, any one of these toy boy billionaires can go out, employ the right people with the right CV. And it's easy to entice them. It's easy to entice them. Shit. They've been working at these places that really have given them the experience and the technology. People who work for DuPont, people who work for JPL. NASA, people who work for Rolls-Royce, people who work for McLaren, and you are always going to find someone um, with either a bug to bear with that company, or it's, the, it's this whole thing, they come in for an interview and you say, I've got the financial backing, come work for me, you can have your own office, you can have whatever you want, this is an exciting new project to get involved with. And you think, I am one of 50 engineers, I am one of 3,000 engineers working for Intel, JPL, or whatever. I am pretty much no one. This Musk burn victim guy is saying to me, I can have my own office, I can be the project, and that's not, I'm not a project leader at the moment. And you move, even if it's for the same fucking money, you move, it could be for less, and you'll move. And they do. And with that, he has very successfully made SpaceX. Is it a good idea? Yes, NASA seem to think so. And compared to the fucking disaster of the space shuttle, yes. And they are doing very well. And to see that thing land on that barge is fucking amazing. It gives me the horn. It's, I love space. And that is just, oh, it's fucking awesome. People slayed the shit out when it blew up on the launch pad. Shit happens. You should see NASA's past history you know, of fucking missing, not missing Mars, actually hitting Mars, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, shit happens, you know, we can't get everything right, no one's perfect, human, blah, 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 this isn't the Matrix. But, when it comes to the Hyperloop, there are certain things, um, which I'll talk about in this part, we'll probably do this as a two-parter, this one is talking about um, the actual chronological order of what's happened with the Hyperloop. It's not his idea, he's not, he, he did actually kind of make out, I've got a name for it, it's awesome, it, yeah. The thing is with this whole Hyperloop thing is you can kind of tell um, what's happened behind the scenes. What's happened behind the scenes is he's gone out, he's made these awesome claims, 
With SpaceX, it was kind of the other way around because you don't run before you can walk. So he was basically made sure it was viable, said we've got a company, we're going to try and do this. They then successfully did it, and then, then they said, look at us, we're fucking awesome. And you go, well done. You know what I mean? It is fucking awesome. Then, on the back of that, with that success, with all that buzz, he couldn't help himself. Let's go on the telly and let's talk about the next groundbreaking idea. I am, you know, I am James Watt. I am fucking whoever, you know, some dude who's going to change the world. I am Einstein, I am this, that and the other. And he said, you know, well, next it's the Hyperloop. Next it's electric cars. Now, the electric car Tesla thing was doing what other car companies weren't willing to do yet, which is spill endless amounts of money into a design until out pops something that's usable. And the thing that popped out that was usable, you've got to remember, there's no, there's no, there's no technology in there. You know, there's patents on little things, but there's no groundbreaking pre-wankle, wankle engine. Before we had nothing like that, now we do. And it happened in the space of two or three years. There's none of that ingenuity and we've just made something brand new. You know, it's not a Frank Whittle project. It was basically, we just put all the parts that were off the shelf that people just hadn't put together in that sequence before, slapped a bonnet on it and called it an electric car. Now that they're, get, they're, they're trying to sell them and all the rest, now they're getting incoming money so then they can actually refine that idea they've got. Nothing against that. Someone has to do it first. And they did it first. It was as simple as that. But then saying that, if you look back, Honda and all this, no, they've all had to go with this kind of thing. They're just not trying to push it to be commercial. All they've done hybrids because that is the way to go at the moment. The, the technology just isn't quite refined enough yet, so we do hybrids. Any road, that's going well off the track. He got a hard on and he's come on the press and said, yes, the next thing, fuck cars. I'm going to revolutionise petrol cars to electric, which you haven't done. <laughs> You've just made an electric car, which a lot of people have quite easily just done exactly the same thing. That's the thing. He produces a Tesla and all these other ones. You know, Nissan go, oh yeah, we can start that project and we can get it all wrapped up in five years and we can actually sell more than you. That's exactly what they've done. Uh, and Toyota did exactly the same thing. They've all done exactly the same thing. I was just showing you there's nothing groundbreaking about what was happening. Just the first to, to, to do that. That's it. And sometimes the first is the most important. Sometimes it's not. In that respect, it's not. It's all about volume and Toyota and Nissan and all this. So, it then comes to... Um, completely lost my train of thought. Yes, so what he's done is basically, he said, right, now that I've revolutionised space travel, which you haven't yet, stop being so cocky, now I've revolutionised electric from petrol, yeah, you haven't done that all either. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re revolutionise planes and trains, public transport, all into one. What we're going to do is we're going to take what the Japanese couldn't pull off with the bullet train, which they did a very good job of, it's still working now, and we're going to go, oh, we're going to go extreme. So he's got a, a, you know, a think tank of impressionable engineers, which are the worst kind to have. <laughs> Not experienced, seasoned ones, but an impressionable young ones who said, yeah, we can fucking, fucking, we'll have a fucking tube from here to the moon that just stretches, you know, <laughs> that kind of shit. And um, that is the problem, is that he's got a lot of yes guys because of SpaceX, because of Tesla, and he's just lapped up what they've told him because the experts, these are the, not the same, but experts have told him before, yes, we can do this rocket thing, and they made it work. Experts have told him before, yes, we can easily put all these chicken parts together off the shelf parts and make a Tesla car, and it worked. The same thing has happened with Hyperloop and he's fallen hook, line and sinker for it. This is the issue. So, the next part, this is part one, part two is going to be actually, what am I talking about? Why, you know, these experts have told him, yes, we can do the Hyperloop. Where is my evidence and all the rest of it that it won't work? It will work, but that's actually not the issue. Anyway, we're going to do part two in a minute. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.